Hi guys, today I have my weekly manis for you. This week I have four manis, so not too bad. And it's definitely getting very dark and gloomy. I think it's just a season now, so hopefully the lighting is okay. But let's get started because this week I have really a lot of fun creating those different Halloween manis. The first one I did, I used quite a few polishes, but the base I used is from Polish. The color is called Al Ula, I think. It's from a Polish pickup, I think from April. It was the spring. So basically it's a really cute, soft, powdery, periwinkle blue, and it has a lot of delicate kind of uh, pink to gold flakies. I used this as a base and I decided to stamp some skeleton images on top, but uh, they are kind of really cute because those are some skeletons kind of like holding a rose or like looking at themselves in a mirror. So it's just a little creepy, but really cute and pretty. Anyways, I used uh, my Born Pretty Deep Foggy as the stamping polish because this one is a gray it's a little bit softer and I use three different colors to do reverse stamping. The white I used is Salon Perfect Pillow Talk. This one is a white, but it's not super like stark white. It has a little bit of that softness, uh, which I prefer. And then I used Color Club Influencer as the color for the roses and Color Club do it for the gram as the color for the leaves. So I think overall, even though I used a lot of different colors in here, but everything kind of looked really cohesive. They're all very soft, delicate, feminine. I really, really liked that look a lot. And of course I mattified everything. And the plate I used is a really small plate from Born Pretty. It's called Fairy Tale S001. Um, if you can find it, I will recommend picking it up because it's super unique. And then I did a kind of um, contrasting colored blood design. So this one, I did not use any stamping. I just freehand painted everything. I first used uh, Bear Kiss from Sally Hansen Color Therapy Sheer Line. And this one, I put two coats on all of my nails and this polish was sent to me PR initially. And I really like it because it gives that kind of soft nude base look. And my nails are quite stained naturally. So, you know, I definitely need help with something like this. And then I grabbed my Vapid um, Pessimist to do a kind of uh, French mani, but then I definitely had more than just the tip painted with the black. I kind of went halfway on the nail. And then after that, I used my PSA from Loud Lacquer as the blood drip. I just used my brush and painted them all. And this uh, shade PSA is pretty opaque, so I'm super glad that it went over the black pretty well. If you use a sheer green, you might have a lot of trouble doing that. But regardless, I think that many turned out really cute. Also, you might have noticed I broke one nail. I haven't done anything to it yet. It's just pretty painful. So sad. Next, I participated in the Random Manny Gang uh, Manny design. So the group voted on a tissue box as a kind of uh, inspiration image. And I picked three colors to replicate the colors in the tissue box. But I don't know why I picked a green that's like way too light for, you know, compared to the original picture. Something happened to me the night that I picked the colors. <laughs> But regardless, I used three different colors to represent the tissue box. They're all from OPI. So the green blue shade is in the color gelato on my mind. The two purples are one hecla of a color and Dutcha just love OPI. So I used my dry marble technique again, kind of just swirl them together and then use a stamper to pick it up, placed it on my nails. I did that as a base for all of my nails and on top of that I stamped some gold little triangle or like arrowhead shaped things on my nails because the tissue box had those uh, pointy things. <laughs> so the stamping polish I used is from Pretty Diva. This polish was sent to me. It came in a set. It doesn't really have a name for each individual shade 
but then I just used the gold polish out of the set and it worked pretty well. And I just used my Uber Chic Modern Tropicals. I think that Manny turned out really cute. I just didn't understand why I picked that blue particularly. And the last Manny might just be like one of my favorites, uh, one of the favorite Mannies I've created for a long time. This one is actually so simple, but it was just so good. So the base I used is Cirque Colors Ghost Rose. I don't know why I thought about using this. Maybe the name, it has ghost in there and it kind of just like gave me that weird feel. I put this on all of my nails as a base, two coats, very beautiful polish, super glowy. And then I just used a brush, picked up my Vapid Pessimist again, and then drew a kind of like a black outer border on all of my nails. That gave a coffin nail illusion because I've been wanting coffin nail for a while. I just, I can't buy the bullet. I'm kind of scared to do that because right now I have square. Anyways, I drew that border in so it looked more coffin-like. And then I used my Dixie Plate um, DP05. And I just picked up a few bats from that plate and put them on two of my nails. I think it looked super dainty, super cute. I just loved it so, so much. I can't really decide if I like it matte or glossy. It seems like a lot of you guys like the glossy look, which I completely understand because it's so super glowy. It just looks good. But at the same time, I really like the mattified look too because it's a little bit more subtle and it's just more weird. It's more Halloween-like, I guess. So overall, I loved that Manny so, so much and it's definitely one of my favorites for a while. So that's all of the four manis I did in the last week. Pretty good week and they are all... No, one of them is not Halloween manis, but you know, I think it's all good. I really enjoyed all of them. And I'm using this as a nail art base right now, so hopefully I can put some art on it soon. Also, you know what? I realized I haven't done my um, D-Stash giveaway for a while now, so if you are interested to participate, you can read the rules down below uh, how to enter and the winner will be announced next week in my weekly manis. So that will be it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.